Hello, my name is Andrew Fagg. I'm a member of the School of Computer Science at the University of Oklahoma, and this is machine learning practice. Before we get into machine learning itself, I want to talk a little bit about models in general. Scientists and engineers uh, have had a very long history of uh, building models, and typically the process of constructing models uh, starts with uh, collecting a set of observations that come from some data source. So for example, we might observe uh, the movement of an object as well as the forces that are being applied to that object. Fundamentally, a model relates the different types of observations uh, to one another. So Newton, several centuries ago, uh, made this very nice observation that there's a, a linear relationship between acceleration of an object and the forces that are being applied to that object. Now for a given data set, there are lots of different models. In fact, there are an infinite number of models that one could select that explain those data. And, and so we have to have some sort of a notion of what a, we mean by a good model. So first off, quality model is one that is uh, simple. And this is certainly important from the perspective of understanding these phenomena, but it's also going to be important as we start to construct these models uh, automatically. Uh, of course, we want our models to explain the observations that we've made uh, already. Uh, but even more importantly, we want uh, the models to, to be able to make predictions about observations that we might take in the future. And, and this very much parallels the, the scientific process where we gather data, con construct a model, we make predictions about perhaps very different scenarios, and, and then we ask whether or not the, the model lies in those, in those new scenarios. And if it doesn't, then, then that suggests that we need to be taking a different approach to, to our modeling. Okay, so, that, so that's hum, humans have been constructing models for a very long time. Uh, machine learning fundamentally is about automatically constructing these models given the data that we have available to us. And, and much like the, the human endeavor, we want our models to uh, produce meaningful and high quality predictions given our novel situations. Uh, and, and models also, if we do them right, they also can give us uh, key insights in, into the, the data that, that we're uh, collecting. So for example, if we, are, if we are studying severe weather phenomena, we can certainly construct a model or attempt to construct a model that uh, makes predictions about uh, what, when the onset might be of, of a severe weather event. But in the process of constructing that model, we might be able to understand something more about perhaps the underlying physics that, that actually lead to the, the, the formation of these uh, severe weather events. Okay, so that's, that's the very broad picture of machine learning. And now let's talk a little bit more about uh, the different kinds of machine learning methods.